Hey guys, it's me Arlene. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the newest release from the House of Mugler. It's one of two. It's another flanker, of course. This is called Alien Mirage for Women. There is also a men's version of this, uh, which I'll just say, <laughs> I'll just blurt it out. I did not like whatsoever. Okay, so now we have the, the women's version, Alien Mirage. I'll show you guys the bottle, what it looks like. You probably saw that in the thumbnail. So yes, it has the same-ish kind of shape bottle as the original. This was just released in my country a month ago or so. So the top notes are pink pepper and mineral notes. The mid notes are syringa and lotus, which are types of flowers. And base notes is amber and hinoki wood. Uh, just a quick write up here as well. The concept of a new fragrant pair is a feta morgana. In the vastness of a scorching desert, a mirage entrances us with its freshness after a storm, giving life to an ex extraordinary flower bearing a message of hope. <laughs> okay, so you guys, I do not like this fragrance at all. It's, you know, when it comes to alien flankers, for the most part, with the exception of one that I've tried, for the most part, you do kind of get a, a very nice or interesting or different spin on the original alien which we all know about already uh, this one though it's completely different this is not not alien like at all whatsoever at least on my skin maybe in the way way dry down which i'll get into later you'll get like the faintest hint of something alien ish but just like the big picture, uh, uh, the big thing about this perfume is that it is completely different. Uh, you guys can think of that as a positive or a negative, I'm not sure. But in, in, in my opinion, it's not good, you guys. This is really, really... <laughs> uh, this perfume on me, I really struggled with a lot. So, hmm. I have the dry down on my skin here. I will also spray it on a test strip here. Andrew and I on our other channel, Oda Cupcakes, we also made a first impressions about this perfume. So I can link that for you guys down there. We did the men's and the, uh, the, men's and the women's version of Mirage. So uh, yes, as I said, I can link that for you guys if you guys want to see that. But okay, so the opening of this, of this perfume is really, really rough, you guys. It is... <laughs> It is the worst part of this perfume. Actually, I might as well say it, it's probably my least favorite opening of any Muggler perfume that I've ever tried in the entire house. So this to me opens as a very stinging, astringent, chemical, almost medicinal-like musk. So basically it's Lady Musk. And I know that a lot of people ask me, oh, what is Lady Musk? <laughs> in a nutshell and I can it's hard to explain what it is but it's just smells like a very cheap smelling chemical musk that's basically what it is uh, it, it's not more any more complicated than that it's something that I smell very very often in many new release perfumes um, in the women's designer area and it is just awful on my skin you guys and <laughs> You've heard me say this a lot of times, but really, you guys, this is just like straight up chemically, chemical musk, not chemically. Uh, it's just straight up cheap smelling chemical musk. If I use my imagination, ugh, imagination a little bit, this perfume in the opening does have like this sparkling kind of character to it. And maybe it's kind of being suggested by the name of Mirage. Uh, when I think of the name Mirage, I am immediately thinking of a desert and then seeing the mirage of a sparkling oasis in the distance or some like body of water. When I smell this, there is like this fresh sparkling kind of character to it, which does add 
something <laughs> to the, the chemical musk in here. Uh, but just, you guys, this is just a big no. Oh my gosh. It is just really, really disappointing. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Mugler being sold out to, um, I think it's L'Oreal. And then people would have all those ideas of being things being reformulated and things changing a lot. Uh, well, this is definitely a change in, in the wrong direction. This is, to me, just awful. <laughs> and for those of you who like this and it smells good on you, then fantastic. I really just have to say that this is just a really, really an awful perfume on me on my skin. They basically just used Alien and how successful it is, made a, a different bottle with a different color and stuff, and then put just like the most generic smelling meh <laughs> of chemicals in it that to me doesn't smell good at all and just released it. And you know, there's always going to be collectors out there of Alien and Alien bottles and I get it. Uh, most of Alien flankers are pretty good. Some are absolutely amazing, but this just does not cut it, you guys. This is awful. <laughs> okay, so the dry down of this perfume. Actually, wait, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, mid now. So as this fragrance dries down from the opening, I keep on thinking of a rusty tin bucket that's washed up on shore. Also think of like an old rusty bucket and there's like old rainwater in it. You can also think of the rocks on this beach or shore and um, they have like this kind of cement like quality to it. I don't know. If you guys have like actually smelled the scent of rocks on a shoreline, which I have <laughs> when I was younger, this fragrance kind of reminds me of this. It kind of has like this salty, minerally kind of scent to it. Um, I guess a, a bit fresh as well. Clean, aquatic kind of smell. <laughs> but basically a rusty tin bucket um, and what that would smell like. That's basically what the mid of this fragrance is so in the dry down finally the dry down is the best part of this perfume you guys by far uh i don't actually mind the dry down too much of this it smells all, all right you get like these indistinguishable fresh floral watery notes i have not smelled lotus in real life or syringa in real life Although there is a great perfume called Syringa by The Body Shop, it's cheapy, uh, that I used to own and I absolutely think it's fantastic. I might talk about that in a, an upcoming video, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, Dry Down is just like these fresh watery florals with like a very, very soft amber. Oh no! construction guys next door. Uh, I'll wrap this up quick. So uh, florals with this uh, very, very soft amber in the background. It's likable in the dry down. I also will say that in the dry down specifically, I also get something that's kind of hinting, like the smallest, smallest hint of something familiar that I smelled in other Muggler perfumes. And I can't really pinpoint what it is. Maybe it's like the smallest hint of the amber in Alien or like the smallest hint of of the uh, green aura perfume. I don't know what it is but there is something in here in the way dry down uh, that reminds me of other muggler perfumes but that's it. It's not really I really gotta look for it but after I kept smelling it and smelling it I was like something familiar in here but uh, I just like I said I can't really pinpoint uh, but overall you you guys this perfume is a big 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 no for me on my skin it's just really <laughs> terrible uh, I just just don't I'm not happy with this release at all 
However, it might work better on your skin. I mean, like I said, if it works for you, then that's fantastic. Uh, this is just my personal opinion. Um, it might be a contender for one of the worst releases of this year. That's how bad it smells on me. But please do try it out on your skin. Maybe it works better for you. Uh, for me, big, big no-no. <laughs> so those are my thoughts on Alien Mirage for Women 2020. <sighs> Sorry that I didn't have something better to say, but those were my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.